Hey there, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to work with the new pattern system in Strokes version 2.3. Uh, this update reimagines the entire patterns workflow. Um, you can now trigger pattern changes from the session view using dummy MIDI clips, or you can do it in the arrangement view using cue points. I'm going to show you that later, but first let's get some key concepts out of the way. So when we open Strokes now, we're working inside of pattern A. There's no longer a save pattern button. Instead, all of our changes are saved directly into the pattern memory. So here we're on pattern A. If I make a change here, you'll see this plus icon appears above pattern A. And that means that we now have pattern data saved in this slot. So when we move to an empty pattern slot, the current state of all of the parameters persists. This means that when we move to pattern B and make a change, it's almost like we have a copy pasted version of pattern A. Likewise, if we take pattern B, uh, open pattern C and make some changes here. We can see that like we're kind of building off variations off these patterns. So now we've got four patterns loaded in these slots. Let's quickly show you how we can trigger these pattern changes. I'm going to make four dummy clips here. I'm going to give them the names A, B, C, and D. Uh, it's very important that they're uppercase or else this won't work. So to fire a pattern change now, all, all we have to do is just fire these dummy mid clips. We'll see that our corresponding pattern uh, is triggered. In the arrangement view, um, it's a very similar process. We just right click, add a locator or a cue point, and then whenever this cue point is reached, the corresponding pattern will be loaded. So let's run this through quickly. So as I mentioned earlier, whenever we make a change, we're writing directly into the pattern memory. Now, the problem that this creates is that when we work with the crossfader, we might end up in a situation where we're in between two patterns here. Like we're in between pattern A and we're in between pattern B moving around. So you can see that now that I've used the crossfader, the pattern write toggle is, uh, is turned off. And that means that any changes that we make now won't be saved into a current pattern. We can't just click this to turn it on and off. It's kind of like a, a protective thing for your pattern memory. And so instead, the way that we load a pattern now is that we drag the crossfader all the way to the other side. And you'll see that now pattern B has been loaded as pattern B was on this side here. And we can just switch back to A like this. And after a brief delay, we can now make changes in this pattern again. So yeah, the key thing to remember is that if you leave the crossfader in the middle, you won't be working directly in the pattern memory anymore. You have to kind of transition all the way into your other pattern for it to then load. And then you can, once this lights up, you can start making changes to your pattern again. One of the quick features to quickly show you is that we now have a UI scaling. So we can use these selectors here and this will change the size of all of the windows. So let's open up the mapping window as well. Make them smaller, make them normal size, or make them much bigger. So yeah, I've had this idea of reworking the pattern flow for a really long time. It took me quite a while to figure out the best way to do it. Um, it's really easy now to just kind of like quickly make variations on your patterns. Um, you, you never kind of lose track of which pattern you're in. It's like always very clear now. Like I say, it only kind of gets complicated if you start to use the crossfader. But even then, it's like a very simple rule of just like, make sure you don't leave the crossfader in the middle or you won't be writing into the memory. And this pattern write indicator here will show you whether or not any of your changes are actually going to be saved into the pattern memory. Uh, I really like this new system. Like I say, I've been using patterns a ton more. Um, I hope you do. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.